Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 1, lesson number 12. Okay, our first problem here says show that the two pentagons are congruent. Find the side lengths of ABCDE and the angle measures of FGHIJ. So, how can we show that these two figures are congruent? Well, the easiest way is to prove that there is a rigid transformation that takes this figure onto this figure. You can do that using tracing paper. I'm going to try and do that digitally. So it looks like that was rotated. This gets a little tricky because when I rotate it, it resizes it a little bit. But it does look like a rotation and then a translation takes this figure and puts it onto that figure. Now that we know they are congruent, that means all side lengths and angles have to be congruent to each other. They have to be the same. It says find the side lengths and the angle measures. Do we need to measure them if we know they're congruent? No, we do not. If this angle E is 59 degrees, angle F is also 59 degrees. If A is 162, J is 162. If B is 108, I is 108. C is 117, H is 117. G, D is 94, so G is 94. Same thing with side lengths. If this is 4.1, this is 4.1. If that's 2.8, that's 2.8. 2.2, 2.2. 1.4, 1.4. 2 3.2. Once we prove the two figures were congruent to each other, all the angles and side lengths have to be the same. Okay, our next problem here says for each pair of shapes, decide whether or not the two shapes are congruent. Explain your reasoning. Are these two figures congruent? Well, it looks kind of like a reflection to go from one to the other. However, CD is three units long, and HG is four units long. Can they be congruent to each other if they have different side lengths? No. So A, those are not congruent. Question B, are these congruent to each other? It does look like a rotation. And then a translation will take this figure here and put it right here. That's one unit. That's one unit. That's four units away. One, two, three, four units away. Looks like everything matches. So yes, those two figures are congruent. You can prove this by using tracing paper. You could prove it by checking all of the side lengths. Question C here, are these congruent? That's a circle with a radius of two units and that's a circle with a radius of two units. That is just a translation from one spot to the other will prove that those two circles are congruent to each other. Okay, next question here. We'll review from a few lessons ago. Draw segment PQ. P Q. When PQ is rotated 180 degrees around point R, the resulting segment is the same as PQ. 
where could point R be located? Well, if we were to take this and rotate it 180 degrees around a point, where would we get the same thing? That would have to be the center point. Point R has to be the midpoint of PQ. Here's trapezoid ABCD. Use rigid transformations on the trapezoid, build a pattern. Describe some of the rigid transformations you used. So this one can be a little bit of a free for all. How would you like to create a pattern from these? Well, you could do a rotations or translations. That's not right. Now, I've got a few copies of it here. You could create a pattern by That's kind of a neat pattern I made pretty quickly by translating, rotating, translating the figure. Um, describe some of your rigid transformations. This one is just a translation down. This one here is a translation up. This one here is a 180 degree rotation around this point right here. And then this one is a translation up after that. This would be a translation down after that. It's our last problem for today. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.